So a couple of weeks back, I had posted a video about Google's Firebase Studio. And for starters, Firebase Studio is Google's own AI coding tool or wipe coding tool. And in that video, we extensively tested out Firebase Studio and the results were not really that great. I mean, it was terrible, right? But it turns out when you normally use Firebase Studio as it is, the model that it uses under the hood is inferior and it is not actually Google Gemini 2.5 Pro. And another cool thing is that you actually have the option to set Firebase Studio to use Gemini 2.5 Pro. And I hope after setting it to let's say Gemini 2.5 Pro, the results will be better. We'll go ahead and together explore how it is. So basically in this video, I'll show you how we can use Gemini 2.5 Pro with Firebase Studio to get even more better results. In which ways, let's quickly get started. All right. So this right here is Firebase Studio, as you probably already might know. And to access it, all you need to do is to click the first link in the description below or just head over to firebase.studio and sign up using your Gmail account. And once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. So as I can see here, I have already created three projects. So I'll go ahead and quickly delete one of them because in a free version, you only get to include like three workspaces. So I already have three workspaces and now I have deleted it. And now, as you might already know, this right here is the interface. So you can go ahead and explain exactly what you want to build in this input box right here, send the prompt and Firebase Studio will start working on it, right? So just for demonstration purpose, I'll try to create a simple landing page and we'll see how good of a job does the AI do. And I'll go ahead and invoke Aqua and I can say, create a landing page for a software development company based in New York, USA. Make sure to include some sleek animation, modern design elements, and overall make the website look really great. So this is the initial prompt I'll give and it says create a landing page for software development company based in New York, USA. Make sure to include some sleek animation, modern design elements, and overall make the website look really great. And just in case, if you're wondering how I managed to fill this prompt just by speaking, it's all because I'm using a tool called as Aqua. And if you want to use the same, you can head over to withaqua.com and download and install it on your computer. And once you download and install Aqua, you can go ahead and place the cursor anywhere and keep pressing the function key to invoke Aqua. And as you can see, whatever stuff that I'm speaking right now is being captured by Aqua and it is processing the same. And as soon as I lift the finger of the function key, Aqua will fill it for me in here. As easy as that. And now the cool thing about Aqua is that as you speak something, the Aqua software will capture everything you speak and then send it to AI for processing and AI will properly format everything, uh, get rid of all the mistakes and you know, the accuracy is going to be top notch. And once the AI processing is done, the Aqua software will go ahead and fill it for you wherever the cursor is. It's as easy as that. So if you want to, you can head over to the second link in the description below or just head over to with aqua.com and you can download and install the same. And I can go ahead and click on this prototype with AI button right here. All right, so it says, okay, here's a plan for how we will prototype this app. Okay, company overview, project portfolio, uh, contact information, color scheme, all of that looks good. And now I can go ahead and click on prototype this app right here. And let's wait for the AI to create the initial design. And then we'll go ahead and ask the AI to use, let's say, Gemini 2.5 Pro and will the compare the results and see if Gemini 2.5 Pro is any better when coupled with Firebase Studio. In which ways, let's wait. All right. So this writer is the initial version of the landing page that the AI has created for us. And I mean, it's kind of okay. And I would say it is far way better compared to the last time I tried to use uh, Firebase Studio to create a landing page. And now the thing is, as you might already know, you can then go ahead and give follow up prompts. And, you know, maybe let's say I want to add some icons, social profile icons, and also navigation bar to the top, I can invoke Aqua by pressing function key. And I can just go ahead and say, could you please add some links to the nav bar to the top and also some social profile links such as Instagram, Facebook, and X. Aqua has nicely filled it for me. I can press enter. And now the thing is, when you go ahead and give a prompt to modify the page, or let's say you initially create a project using uh, the Firebase Studio, but there's a workaround to get Gemini 2.5 Pro right within Firebase Studio, which I'll show you in a bit. All right, so there you go. I can find all these links to the top, but not the social profile links. Uh, okay, I find it in here. So the AI has actually included that in the photo section. In which ways, our goal is to use Gemini 2.5 Pro, right? For that, all you need to do is to switch to this code mode right here. So if you were to, let's say, build the entire app using this interface right here, you won't be able to use Gemini 2.5 Pro. And for that, you will need to switch to the code mode right here. Okay, let's just wait for it to load. 
So here I have opened up it in the code mode and for some weird reasons I'm unable to access Gemini. But then I went ahead and opened up a different uh, project and here I'm able to access Gemini. So we'll actually continue in here okay. So for some reason this isn't working. So maybe I can close this one and we'll work with this one right here. So the thing is right now we have opened up the project in the code mode where you can find a VS code like editor interface where you have all these files. the actual code editor then you can find all these extensions that can be installed and all other details in here and now if you click on this Gemini button right here you will be able to open this Gemini chat interface and this is where you can make all these changes using AI right within the code editor or let's say the code interface and now if you want to view the preview of the code you can click on this web option right here and here we have the preview and if you move over to this Gemini tab right here you can go ahead and give instructions and make all these changes but the thing is if you want to use Gemini 2.5 Pro you need to do a bit more steps so in here you can find a drop down menu that says built in Gemini model and if I click on that one I'll be able to see a couple of these models for example here we have Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview 0325 uh, 2.0 Preview Experimental and all that so if I let's say click on Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview just like that I need to obtain my Gemini API key and paste it in here so I can click on this link right here that says get a Gemini API key. So I'll open the same in a new tab. And if you haven't already created a new API key, all you need to do is to click on this create API key option, select a project, give it a name and you can then go ahead and copy the API key. So here I have already generated one. So I'll copy the same. I'll head back and now all I need to do is to paste the same in here. Okay. My API key is pasted and now I can close this one. And now if I click on this option right here again, I can select Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview 0325 and right now the same is selected as we have entered the API key. But the thing is you can't use every model with a free account. So this writer is a free Google AI Studio account and I haven't really added any uh, you know payment details and currently we are in the free plan. And now if I go ahead and select it as the Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview and let's just ask the AI to make some changes. For example we can ask the AI to change the background color of the website to something like let's say a pale yellow let's say pastel yellow shade so I can go ahead and invoke aqua and say could you please change the background color of our website to a pale yellow shade looks good and now I can click on enter and now as you can see it says Gemini 2.5 Pro preview doesn't have a free quota tier so that means if you directly use this drop down menu and select Gemini 2.5 Pro preview 0325 you won't be able to use it with a free account but there's a workaround as you can see it is asking us to use an experimental model instead and for that all you need to do is to copy this part right here okay so just copy the model name and after that click on this drop down menu right here and click on this option that says custom model id and once you click on it it will open this interface right here and now you need to replace this model name and paste the one that the AI has given you or this Gemini pop-up has given you so it says Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental 0325 so once you set that you can save the settings and now you can go ahead and copy it and now as you can see the same reflects in here and now if I go ahead and give the same prompt again and hit enter it should work okay so let's see so there you go so Gemini is making all these changes to the files and is trying to change the background color of a website so it turns out you have the option to use 2.5 Pro the thing is you have to go through a bit more configuration phase if you want to use it for free so I can click on update file option okay let's wait so all you need to do is to copy this model name add it in here and then you can go ahead and use it for free and now if I go ahead and open web okay so let me refresh so there you go we have this yellow background and this is how you can use Gemini 2.5 Pro within Firebase Studio and now I know the steps are not that straightforward and you also don't have the option to use it within this prototyper mode so you have to switch to code mode and then use it and that's the only option that you have right now and again if you want to let's say use Gemini 2.5 Pro preview model instead not the experimental one then you will need to add let's say uh, building details in here and have a plan and once you have that you can then go ahead and use it otherwise if you are on the free tier you can use this model right here that is Gemini 2.5 Pro experimental 0325 so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video basically i wanted to let you guys know that it is possible for you to use 2.5 pro gemini 2.5 pro right within firebase studio but you can't use it in the prototyper mode 
you will have to switch to the code mode and you can directly integrate and start working from here so this is how simple it is and again if you want to take wipe coding to the next level and if you want to use a, a voice detection software instead of manually typing the prompt you can also go ahead and check out aqua voice using the link in the description below and i've been using this for some time now and trust me it is a really great tool so you can try that out as well so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one